Hello everyone. In this video, I am making a flower showing its reproductive parts and will also explain the process of artificial pollination. Pollination is the process by which the anther of a flower produces pollen and then sends it to the stigma of another flower so fertilization can occur. There are two types of pollination, natural and artificial pollination. In natural pollination, the natural elements of nature like wind, water and insect help the plants to pollinate. While in artificial pollination, the humans help the plant reproduce. Most flowers have bright colored petals to attract bees and other insects which in turn help in insect pollination. Carpel is the female reproductive part of a flower. It comprises of the ovary, style and stigma. Stamen is the male reproductive organ that consists of two parts, anther and filament. A few flowers are bisexual, which means they have both female and male reproductive parts. Sepal is the green colored part beneath the petals to protect rising buds. They also contain chlorophyll and support photosynthesis. Let's see the process of artificial pollination. In artificial pollination, humans help the plant pollinate. Artificial pollination helps produce new varieties of plants. In this process, firstly, pollen grains are taken from a plant. Then we need to find a stigma which is compatible to the pollen grains. We need to transfer the pollen into the stigma and then fertilization occurs. Then comes two major steps. First one is emasculation. Cut off the anther of the flower so that no extra pollen is added to the stigma. We need to do this process before the anther gets mature and starts to produce pollen. Next process is bagging. In bagging, we cover the plant with a bag to prevent extra pollen from entering the stigma through processes like wind and insect pollination. A successful pollination leads to fertilization, forming fruits and seeds. Thank you.